This is the uh, TCAP practice test for grade 7, the math section. Question number 42. Rebecca's goal is to save $700. She's already saved $220, and she's going to start saving $12 a week. Which equation could be used to find W, the number of weeks Rebecca needs to save each week to reach her goal, or the number of weeks she needs to save to reach her goal? So we're trying to find number of weeks, right? Let's just figure it out for ourselves before we do anything else. She's already saved $700. Or she's already saved 220. She needs 700. So let's just do a little subtraction to figure out how much she still has to save. So 700 minus 220 gives you 480 bucks. She still has to save. Now she's doing that at $12 a week. So I need to break it up that 480 into tw parts that are size 12. So each part represents one week. So I do 480 divided by 12. And it gives me 40 weeks it'll take her to do it. Now, they don't want to know exactly how many weeks it'll take. That's irrelevant to them. What they want to know is which one of the equations can be used to find it. But we've got all the information we need because we figured it out. Plus, you can test to see if it works because we're trying to make truth statements, right? So, for instance, in F, it says 12 times the number of weeks should give you 700. But there's nothing about the 220 in there, so this probably doesn't work. And we can test it because we already figured out the answer. So if I do 12, and remember, if the numbers touch the letters, that means that they're multiplying, just like when hamsters touch, they multiply, numbers and variables. So I'm going to do 12 times 40, which was our choice, and I get 480. It's not equal to 700. 480 is not equal to 700. So F is not the correct answer. Uh, same thing with 23. 232 which I think means they just added 220 to 12, which makes absolutely no sense, but it is what it is. If you just think logically around the question, it's not really as hard as they want it to be. But if you do 232 times 40, you'd get 70. Uh, you get, uh, sorry, 232 times 40 gives you 9,280, and that's certainly not equal to 700. So that one's out. Or you could just test it as well. Uh, say you did 700 divided by 12 in the first one. It gives you 58 weeks, 58 and a third weeks. That doesn't make any sense at all. So obviously, F and G are both out. Let's look at H. H says 12 times the number of weeks minus 220 equals 700. So we're going to take a bunch of weeks, and then we're going to subtract 220, and then get to 700. Why are we subtracting 220 from anything other than 700? Our initial step was to take 220 away, so this is probably not the right answer. But let's test it. 12 times 40 minus 220 gives me 260. 260 is obviously not equal to 700, so it's not H either. So it's got to be J. And let's think logically about the question. You've got $220. You're saving $12 a week for some number of weeks, and it's supposed to equal up to the $700 you want to save. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, so if we did 220 t plus 12 times 40, which is what we figured out we needed to, how many weeks we had to save anyway, and it does equal 700. So 700 on this side, 700 on this side, perfect. So the answer is J. And the question makes a lot of sense because uh, we initially took away the 220 and then we broke it into parts of 12. So that's what we were going on to work with there. Shouldn't be a big deal to get that question right as long as you worked it out ahead of time.